Hey guys, it's Dude here. Welcome to part two of the video. Um, after reading some of the comments, I figured let's go to the Talus Cave and let's see what uh, what's in store here. Uh, this time around, I'm gonna switch a different link. Of course, um, aside from green, I'm gonna have blue instead of red. So uh, let's continue. I already uh, selected the level, so let's go. Let's see what we have here. Ah, uh, yeah, the Rock's Cape. Named after the wrestler. <laughs> you know, I, I find it funny how that joke has not aged. Because since the Rock has practically gotten so popular in later years that it's... it's <laughs> It just makes the joke age like fine wine now. Had to be an ice level. Ice slash water level. One or the other. Let's see, what's in here? Got a key. Let's just... At least the game is generous with the fairies. Alright, let's see what else we got in store. Blue, a little help. And uh, one at a time, hang on. Ah, crap. See what else we got here. Come here. More keys. throw in those root pores just to piss you off. Let's see. Okay, you go this way, I go that way. Oh, you can't jump off? Right. Okay, how about if I throw you? That won't work either. All right, uh, let's see. Think, let me think. There we got the fairy. I'm good with the the heart so far. Okay, go in here. All right, grab one of the hats. Doesn't matter which one. Ah! Okay. <clears throat> yeah, there's probably a EU somewhere around here. Dang it. Wait. It... Of course there was a secret passage over here. There is the key. What about over here? 
Oh, sorry. Hmm. Now we just have to head south. And I think we finish the this this part of the game. One thing I forgot to point out regarding Four Swords, the original game, is that the levels are actually randomized. So this technically counts as like the first randomizer. You know, in a weird sort of way. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, go. Ah! Come on. There we go. Pegasus boots. Maybe I should have used a rock's feather here, or the, the rock cape. Then again... Okay. Come on, come here. We must let our powers combine. Sorry. I know, it was a stupid Captain Planet reference, but whatever. Crossing swords again. Okay. Going down. I didn't see that coming. Just ruin your day. Be sharp. Well, now what? the other one. At least the current is strong. Alright, let's see. Another fairy. Game is very generous with fairies. Tights. Probably a switch around here. Ouch. I'll just stand there, do something. Another one?
Okay. Mm. Can I go back? I can imagine this game being really frenetic in four player mode. Like, you go this way, I go that way. Like, but what did you get that? I wanted to get the item. It just becomes more of a frenetic party game that way. Five minutes, 13 seconds. Okay, so this is the Guardian of the Talus Cave. That's the enemy to the ice. Yeah, push him back. There we go. Woo! Get him! Uh, this game is so color coded for your convenience. Okay, so technically that means that player one has to guide player two as to which one to attack. Up, down, left, and right. So in my case, it would be. Ouch. It would be right for blue, and it would be. Up. For green. Why is that... A, what the hell is that hurting me? Must be the hitbox. That wasn't so bad. So, we're done here with the Talus Cave. Yeah, um, I should point out that uh, the game itself... Since it's a DSi game, and it's... Uh, DSi games can sometimes be a little glitchy. This game actually has an issue with a save file. With a battery file. Because uh, it... Every time you just um, log into the actual game, it just like um, it it keeps saying corrupt data, and you're forced to restart the entire game all over again. So there's just something wrong with the battery. That I guess that just varies from from emulators to emulators, depending on which one you use. Right. So there it says it's been saved, but if you restart the game later, then it says it's corrupted data. So at this point, we have to head to Death Mountain. And then after that, I think we head to the Triforce level and then Bodies uh, Castle. Really hard to say. Let's see. I 
Things are starting to heat up. Oh, not these little guys again. I've seen similar monsters in Majora's Mask. I forgot what these are called. But yeah, you essentially have to attack them from behind. Magnetic glove. I sometimes wonder if I could use this for an episode. That reminds me of like when I was playing Skyward Sword and they implemented that beetle drone. It's like I feel like I, I should implement that as a joke sometime, at some point. And of course, I had to throw blue back here. And once you get rid of the mask, it becomes a pushover. Right, one thing I should point out is that uh, rupees are vital in this game. Because if you die in, um, in this situation, it discounts rupees uh, directly from your, uh, from your wallet. I'm trying to see. How do I get... Let me just make sure. Hang on. Nah, that's not enough space. Are you sure? This is concerning. Trying to think, damn it, what should I do? Okay, um, I don't think I can throw you there, can I? Let me see, hypothetically. <sighs> Screw it. Yeah, that was gonna happen eventually. Now what? Maybe I have to pull something here. I'm trying to think. Anything else? There's got to be something I can use. thinking. Okay, this one really has me stumped. Think, 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 think. Wait. We got magnets, right? So in this case, I can attract and repel. That helps. This game is secretly brilliant sometimes. Okay. 
I got an idea. Ah, okay, green, stand here and I'll push you away. I was like, what do you mean push me away? Just, just, just listen to me. Okay, stay there. Hmm. What if I do this? Blue's just uh, trying to gr trying to uh, get those gears uh, spinning, trying to figure out what to do. Am I too far? Yes. Another idea. Alright. Come with me. Stay over there. Okay, and I'm going to repel you. Wait. Or what I could do? Um... Oh boy. I think I have to change the magnet. Hmm. And I can't go through here. Uh, think, damn it, think. Okay, I can probably get you through this. Let me see. There we go. It can get awfully tricky. Okay, now I think I can pull you from here. There we go. Boy, the music can be stressful. Ah! Let him go! Stupid like, like. Another one? More likely to this place. I better get out of here. Just respawning. Okay, go over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, crap. Another one? Damn it. Ah. A little help. Sheesh. I think it was draining my rupees. Walking in circles, come here. 
Gotta be another area that we haven't visited. Let's go over here. Don't! Oh! Not what I had in mind. Go over here. Over here. Blow the whistle. There we go. Come on. Thank you. That helps. Okay. Nut hat. Well, that's going to be tricky. something useful here. Okay. Oh, wait. More rupees. Still need to reach the goal somehow. Throw you over there, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you, little bastards, aren't they? grid like system here. There's the switch. I had a feeling that one was a crap. Mountains of pain. Ah. Hmm. I keep falling for that trap. These like likes are sneaky. Do we have keys? No problem. Is it with this game sneaking bombs at me? Bad. And the keys are still respawning. Let's see. I guess I'm running room. Ready? Let's go. Okay. Let's 
beam holes. Alright. What's over here before we go? And uh, before we finish the level. We want more money. Yeah, this one took me a while. Ah, so that's what you get here. So that's how you get here. Woof! Yeah. That one was rough. Okay, we both have to pull. Come on, Blue. Let's see. Alright, what else we got? What else do we have here? Okay. So far, so good. Oh, goody. Come on, gotta get this gel off me. Oh! What do I do here? Ah, okay. It's here, opens the switch. Ah, it doesn't really matter what order. Yeah, head up. Okay. There's the key. Speaking of fire, <laughs> I've been watching uh, the, the latest episodes of Beavis and Butthead too during my free time. I mean, so far I like the new episodes, even though they're just some occasional hit and miss uh, episodes here and there. But it, it's just great to see them back again. And just in retrospect, thanks to the, thanks to the power of nostalgia, we got Beavis and Butthead back, and now the Cornholio Armos Knight is probably a thing again. Okay, I guess we're done here. And here comes the boss. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah. Let's see, what do we do here? Okay, okay, play ping pong with the, the fireball that it throws. Green! Blue!
Getting fired up. Green! Blue! Can you reach it? Take down the flames one by one. Green! Blue! Okay, 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 calm down. Whew. Doesn't really have me you know, like had me thinking. I mean particularly the uh that first I think it was the first or second puzzle. No, the the the, the one with the um, the magnets, that one had me thinking. Like what what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? But I finally found my way around it. I mean, the the magnet mechanic, of course, I think going as far back as like um, Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons, one of those two games actually had the uh, had that mechanic. And you know, the boss here, I thought the boss was going to be like, um, I may have confused that boss with like the one from the Minish Cap. But uh, anyway, moving on. Let's go blue. Oof. <clears throat> Sorry. I need to stretch a little. Done so well to gather much, so much treasure. I W little eggs waiting to hatch into heroes. Yeah, now we're hatchlings. I grant you each a silver key. Now, in the future, I might uh, do a Let's Play of Four Swords Adventures, if you guys are interested. So, uh, who knows? Just leave that in the comments section, and of course, I'll, uh, I'll do the other Let's Play. But, you know, without... Um, <laughs> with all the, the, the commentary that I normally did, like, like a previous uh, video... I can say for the fact that, um, you know, the game itself is quite short. If you're, like, really focused on what you're doing. But since I'm constantly rambling and doing the whole commentary thing, it can get a little distracting. <laughs> 